team in high school got a new schedule this year. Mm -hmm. In today's show, we'll see if the staff things. thinks about the new schedule. Well, I really enjoy it, you know. I'm Emma. And I'm Jake, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. This year we are using a new schedule for both classes and lunch. Let's go see the staff's thoughts on the new schedule. Seaman High School got a new schedule this year. Teachers and students have varying opinions. I really enjoy it. You know, I went to school here and so we had what you guys had as a schedule last year is what the schedule that I had all four years when I was here. Um, and I really enjoy, especially as a teacher, having that hour and 20 minutes with my kids every day and not having to worry about um, maybe only having like 45 to 50 minutes with them. Um, it, it's been a little bit of an adjustment. Um, uh, one of the nice things about the schedule we used to have is that Monday allowed us to prepare for the week. Um, we were, to, were able to set a tone and we were able to set, uh, we, we kind of had a structure that we followed. Um, I, I have to say that I, I have enjoyed kelp uh, and I did not think that I would enjoy that at first. First. Along with eliminating biking days, we now only have three lunch periods. Right. I love the new three lunches. It's a lot easier for us. I know it's a longer line for each line, but the prep we're all already done anyway, just like last year, but it makes it a faster cleanup for us at the end of the day. I think they like it other than the lines take a little bit longer to get through, but they do have longer time in between, so I think they have enough time to eat, so I think it's going to work out for everybody. As for student opinions on the new schedule, a poll was posted on SeamanNews.com, and a majority of the students just prefer we rename the days odd and even. The poll is still open, so go let us know how you feel. It seems like everyone is enjoying the new schedule. Now on to your daily announcements. The Afterglow Committee is wanting to invite any parents interested in being involved with the Afterglow event in April. There is a meeting scheduled for 7 p.m. Monday, September 23rd at Viking Grill. If you are interested in being part of Spirit Club, join the Schoology Group. Spirit Shirt order forms can be picked up in the front office, bank, or N14. Volunteers are needed on the last Monday of the month from 5.15 to 6.45 p.m. Call or email Kim Atchison if you have any questions. Interact Club Sleep in a Box event is October 5th. Forms can be picked up in Mr. Collins' rooms. Forms are due no later than September 27th. If you are interested in ACT prep class, visit the high school office to register. Registration and payment is due by October 18th. Key Club members, don't forget to pay your dues to the bank or to Mr. Cromie. Also, if you want a Key Club t-shirt, money is also due. We need 20 people to pay for us to place an order. The University of Kansas Health System, St. Francis Campus is starting a medical explorer class that begins Monday, September 23rd from 7 to 8.30 p.m. See Schoology for more information. From September 9th through the 20th, Interact is collecting aluminum cams for CAT. There are three labeled bins by the north doors, the east doors, and in the lunchroom. Make sure to bring your cans. SHS Wrestling will be contesting a kickball classic on Sunday, September 29th at the SMS football field. Let's go to Emory to learn more about it. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. Kelly and he's going to talk to us about the Wrestling Kickball Fundraiser. So what is it? The Wrestling Kickball Fundraiser will be on Sunday the 29th and we're trying to raise some money. We're doing some special things this year in the program that we don't normally do. So we have a need to raise a, a little extra funds. And additionally, we'd kind of like to make this a, a yearly event if, it, uh, if we can pull it off and, um, and make it kind of a fun event that the, uh, the Seaman High community can be part of. How can people join? Well, we've got this uh, handy little form here, and it's all over the place. Uh, I've got them, um, uh, Coach Elliott, uh, and a few places online as well. You simply fill out this form, um, turn in the registration fee, and, uh, and turn it in, and, and you're in. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, again, it's just a, a good way of, of supporting the, uh, the team, um, the possibility of earning a first, second, or third place uh, plaque, and, uh, and do a little team building for your organization or group that, uh, that might be part of it as well. All right. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Thank now back you. to your anchors. Cost is $80, and the registration deadline is September 20th. Riding Club's first meeting is Wednesday after school in Ms. Marshbank's room. Due to an error, we need you to sign up for Schoology again. If you need help, contact Ms. Marshbank or Ms. Collins. Seniors, reminder that graduation cap and gown orders, plus any other grad products, is due this Wednesday, September 18th. Whether you have the down payment of $60 or not, they will be set up at 
1040 a.m. and be here through CALP. A FASA workshop will be held on Wednesday, October 16th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the KBI Forensic Science Building on Washburn University's campus. Sign up to volunteer at OK Kids Day at Shawnee North Community Center on September 21st, 2019 from 8.30 to 12.15 p.m. For volunteer questions, contact Kimberly Atchison. Now over to sports with them after this quick commercial break. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Oh, what am I doing? Well, I'm practicing for the lip sync battle on September 19th. If you'd like to sign up, you can sign up at E3, otherwise known as Chromie's room, but honestly, compared to me, you have no chance. I'll see you there. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Do you have school spirit? Do you want to show off your school spirit? Spirit Club is currently selling shirts. Orders are due by Wednesday, September 18th. Drop off your order form at the bank or Miss Geis' room in 14. Our girls tennis and boys soccer team is on the road tonight. Girls tennis is at Spring Hill in Lake Shawnee and boys soccer is at Junction City. Make sure to wish both teams luck. Now over to weather with Josh to find out how hot it is outside. Happy Tuesday to you. This is the last full week of official summer and that means we're only six days away from the start of autumn. Can you wait six more days? I don't know if I can. So let's take a look at the forecast headlines carrying you through the rest of this week. Some very warm conditions will be continuing highs in the upper 80s and low 90s, but storms return Friday and into the weekend as well. That'll bring some cooler temperatures along with the passage of that cold front. So let's take a look at the daily rain chances towards the end of the week. Thursday, just a 20% chance of an isolated storm during the afternoon. Better chances Friday and Saturday, and even slightly better chances by Sunday. So it does look like we'll see returning chances for showers and thunderstorms late in the week and into the weekend. However, severe weather is not expected at this time. Here's the seven day forecast. You can see that, yeah, we do top out at 90 degrees for today, 89 tomorrow and Thursday before those stormy conditions arrive Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And in the, in the longer range, here we go, above average temperatures and above average precipitation look to continue right on through the end of the month. Now, Jake and Emma, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. We'll learn about class rings tomorrow. Have a great day.